Good, good week of practice. The guys are excited to get back out on the field. I think they were encouraged by last week, and um, we know we, got a, we have another great opportunity this week. Uh, so the preparation was good, and guys are excited. Do you think being in a loud environment last week for the first time in a while on the road helps given that you're playing a night game and hopefully it'll be loud there for you? Yeah, I hope so. It got loud a couple times down in Norman. Um, we got to do a better job making sure that the noise doesn't affect us. Uh, four false start penalties, too many. Um, but we, we've been in a hostile environment a couple times already this year. Yeah, I, I can just tell you from my experience as a player and sitting around the hotel all day um, is as much fun as just getting up and getting the game done. But um, the trade off is night games are special. So the, I'm sure the environment will be great up there. What's the key for, for your offensive line to, in terms of communication in a loud environment like that? You, you've had pressure to get home, maybe more than you like so far. Yeah, th those guys last week were pretty talented. They get pressure on a lot of people, uh, but we just got to be a little more consistent. I thought at times the protection was really good. A um, few times it wasn't, uh, and, and there was a couple communication issues on twists and, and games. Um, so the guys just got to be locked in pre-snap and post-snap. Did you like how the kicking kind of shaped up through the week? Or kind of that just come along? Yeah, it's a work in progress, but um, you know, I got a lot of confidence in the guys. They, they just got to find their rhythm. and. Um, Connor kicked well this week, so um, we got to trust him and, and let him go out and do his job. Uh, not for sure yet. Uh, both are ready. Um, both have punted well, so uh, Daniel's getting healthier again, and um, I think we'll decide that probably today, tomorrow. Scott, Jay put something on social media about dealing with a blood clot. Is he? Is that a season or? It could be a season-ending issue, probably going to be a season-ending issue. Um, he's had some bad luck. Um, we're trying to get to the bottom of the root cause of, of what's going on with him, but he's a pretty special player and can't seem to get out of the starting block. So um, we'll try to get him healthy and hopefully he has some better luck going forward. Scott, what are the logistical challenges of playing back-to-back -back road games? Is there a way that maybe it affects your routine greater than breaking up the road? Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, guys have been on the road already twice this year. Um, glad we found that home game for week one so we get a couple games in front of our fans, but uh, we're kind of used to it right now. I think the biggest difference is going to be the, the game time, and uh, we'll try to keep them up and going during the day in the hotel to make sure they're ready. What kind of things do you do to try to keep them engaged during the day? Uh, we get them up so they're not just laying around all day. Do something active with them uh, at least once during the day and uh, probably have some meetings on Saturday too. I know you're mostly watching. Yeah, he's he's a really good player. Um, when he gets uh, ahead of steam downfield, he's hard to tackle. It's hard for one guy to bring him down. Uh, he's been a huge difference for them. Uh, I think they're good all around him, but uh, he's a pretty special player, and uh, trying to contain him is going to be a big part of the game plan. Have any idea when you might see Palmer Martin back on? He's getting really close. Uh, I had my fingers crossed for this week. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I think he's close. Yeah, I think, you know, I've talked to Cam about it. I think he's just trying to do a little too much. If he just plays within the structure of what he's supposed to do, um, a player like him is going to make a lot of good plays happen. I think he's pressing just a little too much, and um, sometimes that can lead to a couple bad plays. So uh, he just does his job and stays within his role. He's, the ball's going to find him. He's going to make play. Anything else, guys? Thanks, guys. Thanks.